We are on the final day of March Madness. Three local schools are still competing for state championships, but the Division IV select title puts two district rivals, St. Martin's and Crescent City, in a rematch to hoist the championship trophy. Mike Odom and Brandon Russ being friendly before the two teams battle for the state title. First quarter, Saints come out firing. Matthew Weaver knocks down the step back jumper. Weaver scores 21 points in the game. St. Martin's leads 16 to 12 after the first. Second quarter, Pioneers respond. Frederick Green drains the wing three. Five total points for him. Crescent City now up 26 to 19. Seconds later, Saints answer with a three of their own. Ashton Oliver cuts the deficit down to four. Oliver has six points on the day, but the Pios lead 31-25 at halftime. Third quarter, Crescent City keeping their foot on the gas. Isaiah Stevens drives to the basket, count the bucket and the foul. Stevens racks up 13 points in the game. Pioneers lead 36 to 29. Minutes later, Pios beat the press and a wide open Dwight McGee knocks down the corner three. Three of his game high 25 points. Crescent City takes a 13 point lead in the fourth. And in the final period, chaos on the court. Blocking the ball, bounces the Pios way. And Devin Gitros takes advantage, knocks down the three. Three of his 12 points in Crescent City. Beat St. Martin 71 59. The Pioneers reach redemption following their semifinals loss from 2023. WGA knows Richie Mills is in Lake Charles and has more. January 30th, Crescent City defeated St. Martin's to win the District 10 1A title. 39 days later, the Pios overcome early foul trouble to win the rematch in the Division IV Select State Championship game. Sophomore sensation Dwight McGee was one of two starters that spent the majority of the first half on the bench with three fouls. He made up for his absence in the second, scoring 20 of his game high 25 points in the final two quarters. Dwight McGee was named most outstanding player. When I got my third foul and I knew I was going to sit down, I was just like, I was ready to get back in and just play for my team and just help us out and get the win. We're aggressive basketball ball, a club, so I expect some fouls. But we have to fight through it. I mean, we can't let the referees control the game. We got to play our game like we're supposed to. They know better than that. So we'll never let that happen. Um, my guys, they vets. You know, a lot of these guys, these two guys been here last year. Uh, Giovanni, it's his first year. So I got vets on the team that been through the spirit, so they know how to, to fight through adversity. McGee and company lead Crescent City to their fourth state title in program history, their first since 2021, and their first under head coach Brandon Russ. Since last night, I got a lot of calls telling Coach B to get the job done. You know, we, we work hard for this. You know, I, since since the summer, we've been working, and we was ready for this, for this moment. So we're going to cherish this moment. The Pios graduate just one senior from their championship team. In Lake Charles, Richie Mills, WGNO Sports. Thanks, Richie. Crescent City now has four state titles in the last eight seasons. 